Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a good day to my lovely lecturer Miss Akmal binti Ahmed Kamal. My name is Nurul Anis binti Hasni and in this video I would like to present my final project for the ADE 675 Art in Social Context. So this final project is about narrative painting and the title of my final artwork is Extinct Animals. So first, we start with the idea development. For my first idea development, it is about the scenery at the pedophiles. The second idea development is about the lonely hornbill in the jungles. And then the third idea development is about the animals in the jungles. The idea development number four is about the current issue that happened during Ramadan, which is the Palestine. And then we move to the idea development number five, which is the Malay cuisines. Idea development number six is uh, about Malay culture. And then idea development number seven, which is the selected idea for my final project. It's about the extinct animals. And then for the idea development number eight, it is about Kelantanese culture. If you can see here, we have Nasi Krabu and also Wau Bulan and the background is Batik Malaysia. And then we move to idea development number 9 which is the Terengganu culture. Idea development number 10 is about Malaysia which is we can see the KLCC, the KL Tower and also the Malaysian map at the background. And then we move to the idea development number 12, which is about the animal in the jungle. Idea development number 13 is about the online distant learning that currently happened to us. And then idea development number 14 is the combinations. Idea development number 14, it is about the combinations of Malay cuisines. It's, uh, it has a nasi krabu, nasi lama and also sate, and also have the herbs. And then idea development number 15 is about the building in Malaysia. As we can see here, we have KLCC, KL Tower, and Bank Building, and also the Putrajaya Mosque. And then we move to idea development number 15 is about Nice Milan. Nice Milan is uh, stand for Negri Sembilan, uh, which is the Minangkabau. And then for the idea development number 16 is about the Sabah culture. You can see it has orang utan, Sabah flag and also the costumes of Sabah people. And then for the idea development number 17 is about the Johor culture. For the idea development number 18, it is about the Penang culture. We have the Jambatan Pulau Pinang, we have ferry and also Nasi Kandar. And last but not least is idea number 19. It is about the Jelapang Padi, which is Kedah. And lastly, is the issues about the pandemic of COVID-19. So now we move to the progress of my final artwork. So I started by making this painting by drawing the outline based on the idea development that has been selected by my lecturer, Ms. Akmal. Then I started coloring with the first layer of the leaf color. And then I coloring the flower part. Uh, I tried the first color, which is red for the first base color. And I making the detail of this flower until I satisfied and it looks like uh, based on the idea development that I, I have been made. And then for the next step, I continue this painting by making the first layer for each paint for each part on the paint on this painting, which is for the first base color. As we can see here, I color the banana leaf part. And then uh, after I finish with the first layer, I continue with the second layer according to the idea development until I get the shapes and texture and the color that I have satisfied with. As we can see here, I have made the detailing on the banana leaf and also for the background. Now 
Lastly, I have prepared the part that I was less satisfied and then I made the detailing on the part of the rhino stress. It is a big challenge for me uh, as this is my first time uh, making the animal figure. So it is hard for me to get the actual looks of the animals. But I try my best to do these paintings. And then my artist reference, Herbert William Wittes. Um, I, can, I do not find the picture of this artist. I only find found his artwork. So Herbert William Wickes was a well-known British genre and an animal painter of the Victorian, Victorian neoclassical period who specialized in portraying animals in humorous human-like situations. Wickes was born in Pimlico, London, England to a prominent artistic family and he is the youngest of five children. His father, Henry Wickes, was a sculptor and a royal academician his brother, Henry Jr., was also a gender painter known for his animal studies, and his brother, Frederick, was an artist and expert on medieval costume and design. Wickers appears to have used his middle name, William, for all but formal purposes. He lived and worked for most of his life in London at 21 Opidence Road, Primrose Hills. Wickers, known as animal and gender painter of the Victorian neoclassical styles, Wickers' work was popular and helped expand 19th century animal painting from its traditional role of simply recording beasts into a way of reflecting human life. He frequently personified animals and placed them into situations particular to humans. And this is the Herbert William Wickers artwork which is the title is Table Friends. Uh, this hour will sell on November 19, 2019. And this is my final artwork. So the title of my, the title of my final artwork is Extinct Animal, which is this animal has been uh, increasingly extinct in the world. And the medium that I use is acrylic on canvas. The size of this painting is three feet times five feet and it is has been done in July 2021. So let's move on on the descriptions of these final artworks. So this extinct animal is the narrative painting of animal with a focal point of the rhinoceros in the middle ground of the paintings. The concept of this painting is a narrative painting that emphasizes the current issues of extinct animal in the world. The natural color of the animal, which is the earthy tone color with the combinations of the background of the painting, which is the plant color, which is the combination of cool and warm color that make up the narrative painting and make the painting seems alive. The plant's color, which is a combination of cool and warm color, such as dark brown, sand color, and the brick color, red, turquoise, red orange, light green, and dark green, make up the color of the background color. The animal colors such as black, orange, grey, dark grey also make up the painting looks alive. A line such as wavy lines, straight line and cavalry lines make up the animal, the plants and the painting and the other parts of this painting. The form, as we can see here, the form of these animals showing the uniqueness and the abnormality of the of this painting the space the space between the middle ground foreground middle ground and the background which is the reflection of our the middle ground is the rhinoceros and the background is the plants and lastly shapes such as shapes of the plants so next is analyze as we can see here balance uh, this final painting is a c a c is symmetrical balance as we look at the narrative painting there is eco visual wick on all side composition which is the main subject matter is the rhinoceros which is it is in the middle of this painting emphasis this painting emphasizing the animal in this whole painting as the issue is this animal is increasingly extinct in this world so for the proportions the size of the animal figure is the proportion and the size of raffia flowers and also the plants 
rhythm of movement, the rhythm and movement of the plants. So lastly is the interpretations. Extinct animal painting is a narrative painting about the current issues of increasing cases of certain animals in this world that hit by extinctions. This painting is trying to explain the great loss of animals that are hard to find and may not be seen by future generations as these animals become increasingly extinct. Apart from animal, the Rafflesia plant is also difficult to find elsewhere because this species is also increasingly threatened by logging activities in our country. The dull tone of this rhinos race is also represent this animal is about will be extinct, not as fortunate as other animals. This animal day by day, their species is declining and its breeds are not too numerous around the world. By first sight of seeing this painting also, we will recognize this painting is about an animal that is threatened by extinctions. The color that I use in this painting is also warm colors and cool colors such as red as we can see at this tiger, red orange at the Rafflesia flowers, pink, green at the plants, yellow at this hornbill and also gray at the rhinoceros. While grey is a colour, it means cool, natural and balanced colour. The colour grey is an emotion, emotionless, moody colour that is typically associated with meaning of dull, dirty and dingy, as well as former conservative and sophisticated. The colour grey is a timeless and practical colour that is often associated with loss or depression. So that's all for my... Final our presentation. Thank you.